Hey, this is Tony Ross for creativecow.net. And in this lesson, I'm going to be building a basic little site showing some simple navigation and moving around in the timeline in Flash. I'm going to build an exciting site about colors. Wait a minute. This is like deja vu because we, we've done this before. No, 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 wait. This is Vuja Day. We've never done this before because instead of doing this in ActionScript 1, or action script two, we're going to be doing this in um, <clears throat> action script action three. Three, three, three. I'm I'm sorry, was that a little over the top? Well, it's it's that much different. So it's like remember when you're growing up and maybe you had your own little fun language that you and your friends had, or maybe you're you're fully grown, maybe you're a tween or preteen or something, and maybe you're seeing that someone special. And you have your own little way of talking to each other like uh, okay okay me and my wife have our own little language and it really annoys uh, our friends and relatives are going what what did you just say well well anyway it's kind of like that so it kind of sounds like something but it's not kind of like a pig latin meets i don't know italian anyway there's some similar things and then there's i don't know it's it's a totally different thing one of my colleagues put it best when he said okay Everything new about ActionScript? Okay, um, let's pretend that this isn't even called ActionScript. It's just another way, a better way, a cleaner way, a more coding way of speaking to Flash. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new document. And I'm gonna do Command N to create a new document. It's gonna be, of course, Flash file ActionScript 3. We'll click on okay. And let's go ahead and get started first and foremost. Uh, let's start messing with our layers here. I'm going to simply double click and we're going to call this layer square. Okay, create another layer, this little guy right here. And this is going to be called buttons. Okay, and let's create another layer. This will be called actions. And one more layer, and this will be called labels. All right, good, we're set. And what we're gonna do first is create a simple symbol. I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool here, set it to a basic little gray. I'm going to click and drag out a little square. I'm gonna hold on my shift key so it actually stays in proportion. Uh, use a little shortcut, hold on my command key get my selection tool real quick and that would be control on PC let's click here uh, in my properties I just want to set this to I don't know uh, 36 by 36 no reason in particular other than I like doing things at about no well, half an inch so we're working at 72 pixels per inch so alright so that's set up let's convert this to a symbol I'll simply press F8 okay well, this to be a graphic and we'll simply call this something complicated like um i don't know square looks good all right now uh let's make sure we're on the right area of course this is sitting on labels right now i'm going to cut that get that out of there put it actually on my uh square let's paste so a quick keys i'm using by the way command c for copy command x for cut command v as in victor for vaste, um, paste, yes, because command P is print, which is not paste. So V is paste. Okay, anyway, so we've got a little square here. I wanna kind of expand this a little bit. Hold on my shift key. Make this little puppy a little bit larger. Okay, and I wanna extend out, let's say every layer, I wanna have about 40 frames. So I'm gonna select frame 40 all four layers here and simply press F5 to add some frames looks good and let's see uh, frame 10 I'm gonna insert a keyframe F6 click on my little square set this to tint and I want to do red and uh, let's see 20 let's do F6 We'll do uh, yellow, okay, and 
Let's do F6 on frame 30. And let's do, I don't know, I think it's the day for green. Green day. <laughs> Funny. Okay, anyway, so we've got a uh, gray, red, yellow, green. Green means stop. Okay, anyway, uh, let's lock that layer. Let's click a little guy right there. And let's go to our buttons layer. I'm going to go over to my library and drag over a little square here. And this is our graphic, of course, but I'm going to go ahead and convert this to a symbol. I'm going to simply press F8. Make this a button. Let's call it something complicated like a um, button. Okay, now let's get a little bit creative here. Uh, we're going to, now this is called button. Come down to our properties area and it says instance name. We're going to actually name our buttons. And this way we can control them with action script. Well, <clears throat> action script action three. Three, 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 three. Yeah, I'm going to use that a lot because I, I worked really hard on that. All right. So uh, we're going to call this one, I don't know, gray. It's a gray button. Okay. Uh, now, here's the deal. Let's uh, hold on our option key, Alt on PC, click and drag this over. If you notice, there's a little plus sign right on our, or right next to our cursor there. Let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. So this is also called gray. Let's call this one, um, I don't know, red. So we're changing the instance name of this, okay? So we'll call this red, so let's go to color, go to tint, and instead of this being green, we're gonna set this to red. Now I've got, of course, my tint at 100%, so you can see what's going on here. Okay, hold down my Option key, Alt on PC, drag this over, and let's change this to yellow. Change, of course, our instance name to yellow. Okay. Okay, now, hold on our Option key, drag this over, and this one's gonna be called green, and of course change our color to green. Now, if you've watched the first time that I actually did this tutorial, and I did this like an action script, well, one or two, uh, depending on how you look at it. Okay, we added our script to our buttons and then we went in and just copied them at that point. But we haven't done any scripting, but we've done all this copying. Well, here's why. Uh, you can't add script directly to a button in action script three because it's 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 naughty it's bad it's well it's it's not very streamlined so i'm going to show you exactly why this is going to work to your benefit okay let's lock that layer let's go to our labels layer okay now for frame one we're going to give it a frame label of gray okay frame 10 and I'm just copying what I see the large square doing let's enter a keyframe actually I'm going to do a blank keyframe F7 and this will be called simply red okay let's go to frame 20 F7 and this will be called yellow oh yeah yeah, I know the joke's old. It's in case you didn't get it the first time. Okay, Bueller, Bueller, anyone? Never mind. Uh, F7 for frame 30. It's going to be Green Day. Cool. All right, now uh, let's uh, lock that layer. Now, is locking layers like training wheels or something, and you should only do this if you're just learning Flash? No, I've been using Flash for years, and I. Still Still like using those little locks. It kind of keeps you out of trouble. Okay, let's go to our actions layer. Okay, uh, we're going to open up our actions, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of complication here. And this one's going to be called. Let's say first thing we're going to type out is I don't know stop. And put that there semicolon. Okay. All right, that's complex enough. So what do I want to do next? 
is let's drop down a line okay next thing we're going to do is simply type in the word function f u n c t a okay function so what is a function it's like me telling you uh, raise your hand so you know by raise your hand you have to do all these things like your arm has to move a certain way and you lift your arm and then you extend your arm and all other stuff to raise your hand okay so I'm kind of actually telling flash uh, raise your hand or do something and then what we're gonna do next is tell it what that something is how do we break that down so uh, function now I'm gonna put that what that function is gonna be called we type out the type of function we want it to be now this is a name you can make up on your own you can call it Pookie Johnson if you want but my suggestion is make it something that you're going to be able to relate to several months from now so you won't have to try to guess what snooky booty means okay this is actually going to be a function for our navigation for our color site so I'm going to call it something complicated like color nav okay so let's simply do color in a V looks good and beyond that let's do a parentheses and we're going to actually say what type of event is this going to be as in what are we going to be doing what type of function uh, are we going to be looking for so let's do event and column and we're going to type in capital M O U S E as in this is going to be a mouse event so capital E and hey mouse events right there and we want to do our close parentheses there uh, colon again and simply type out void okay and let's put a bracket at the end of this now trust me I'll explain this in a second okay now we're saying first of all stop I'm gonna tell you to do something here and that's something I'm going to tell you to do is going to be called color nav okay and that thing we're going to be telling you to do it's going to be a mouse event so you have to do something with your mouse okay so clear your head for a second all right let's go to our next line what I want you to do is simply go to and stop okay now let's do our up in parentheses here and type in event dot target dot name this is key parentheses and then we're going to do a simple semicolon okay now what does this mean all right yeah, the thing I'm telling you to do, color nav, that's a mouse event. Okay, all right, clear your head for a second. When you click on something, I want you to go to and stop. Um, this is a little event here. Look at the target name. As in, we named all of our buttons like gray, red, and yellow, okay? So, what this little script is going to do is going to say, hey, dude, you clicked on gray, therefore, I want you to go to and stop and it's going to go to and stop the T right at the label that we have called gray okay does that make sense all right now what are we going to do next let's go to our next line and what we're going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and close this bracket okay now let's go to our next line return here and let's write out exactly what we want to have happen okay we're going to turn all of our buttons on pretty much so we're going to do gray now what do we mean gray we're actually talking directly to our button that's why we had to name it so scripting can talk directly to it dot and what we want to do is add event listener so what does this mean it basically means that it's going to listen out 
for anything that's happening. Okay, well, what kind of event? Well, we want this to happen with our mouse, so it's going to be a mouse event. Okay, now here's where it gets even a little more exciting. Remember when we used to say on release and stuff like that? Well, this is pretty much we're going to say click because you're clicking on this. Let's type in all caps, click. Okay, so the gray button, I want you to listen out for if we're going to click on it. Okay, now, and if you do click on it, I'm going to put a comma here. And I'm simply going to type in what I want it to do. So if you click on this, I want you to do something. I want you to do a function. I want you to raise your hand. What do I mean by that? Hey, remember what raise your hand, what we were talking about earlier? The function color nav, right? So, dude, if you like click on the gray button, we're listening for you to click on that. And then when you do click on that, we want you to do color nav. And let's go ahead and put there and put a semicolon there. Okay, so what is color nav? It means go to and stop the event target name. Okay, so translation. If I click on the button gray, it's like listening for me to click on gray. What it's going to do is go to and stop on the event target name, which happens to be gray. So again, it's listening out for a mouse event, a click. So if I click on gray, it's going to do color nav. Color nav is go to and stop event target name. So if I click on gray, go to and stop gray. Complicated? Hopefully not. All right. So uh, not that I'm a fan of typing or not that I'm not a fan of typing. Uh, copy, Command C, Control C on PC. Next line, paste. Okay. So this is going to be red. Next line, paste. This is going to be yellow. And next line, paste. This is going to be green. All right. Now, let's check our scripting here script contains no errors. Hopefully that's a good thing. And let's go back to our main movie here. And we'll test this out. Command return, control enter on PC. And hey, dude, looks like we got it working. So that is our little color episode, our little color site. And we've done this in Action Script 3. Let's close this out. Now, why is this better? It makes your life a lot easier because let's say if this wasn't just a little 40 frame site, what if it was 400? So all this has got to do is go in and say, hey, we're, we're, we're totally changing things around here. So instead of it going to and stopping, what we want it to do is go to and play. What we want it to do is this. So we can change all of that just from this little area. Okay? So, I hope this has actually helped you understand a little bit more of the world of Action Script 3. Okay, yeah. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for CreativeCow.net. Remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.